Southwest Florida, welcome back to the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. I'm in a familiar place. I am a, a, in a familiar, familiar place with some wonderful faces here at McGregor Clinic on its 20th anniversary celebration. This means a lot to me to have the television show here on the red carpet as we celebrate 20 years of excellence in our community. And I can tell you the stories, uh, the great story of how McGregor Clinic first got started at a kitchen table with a lady on a napkin, <laughs> I'm gonna say. And, uh, and everybody has been coming up here talking about Sharon Murphy. So for those of you, you will finally get a chance to meet Sharon Murphy. Sharon, people have been coming up here talking about you all day. And, and we finally get the good doctor here who I've heard about his great work, but I never had him on camera. Is that because you like to be behind the scenes, doc, and just be a doctor? Yes, that's what I prefer, yeah. Doc, let's get your full name and uh, what's your title here? Uh, I'm Derek DeWitt. I'm, a, the, I'm actually the medical director at McGregor Clinic. Wow. Now, keep the mic up. I'm not leaving you yet. I know you want to get off this. Like, okay, as a medical director, you have a staff and you basically over all medical concerns as it relates to HIV and AIDS, education, everything at McGregor Clinic? Yeah, not only HIV, I mean, we do primary care here, so it's it's basically every every medical aspect of taking care of a patient. Right, um, now you said primary care. That's that right there triggering, triggering some people's mind, like, oh, some primary care takes place too? Give me an example how that would happen. So, I mean, here we manage you know, it's, it's easy to manage HIV these days. It's, it's a little bit harder to manage some of the other issues like diabetes, high blood pressure. Um, so we do, we do everything, you know. Right. People come in with a rash, we'll take care of that. So, I mean, we, it's, it's, it's managing all the other health issues besides the HIV that's in right. that that's goal, what we do. Right, that gives me an opportunity to transition over that like I know some stuff. That gets us right back to sharing what we've talked about for years. I didn't just show up on the 20th anniversary, right? That's right. That's right. You've been with us for a very long time. Sharon knew me when I had hair, people. <laughs> Sharon, you probably didn't even realize when I went ahead and shaved everything off because it was low when you met me. And then right. I just said, I said, before it all falls out, I would shave it all <laughs> off. I'll give you an example of that. You got your pretty low, too. Now, Sharon, uh, when he said what he just said, mm -hmm. in, immediately in my head, I went holistic approach. Let's go. Absolutely, that we provide a holistic approach to treating people living with HIV. Um, HIV, as he said, is, gets managed relatively early on in their care, but then we discover other issues. They've inherited dad's diabetes, mom's high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and so on. And as people are living longer with HIV, because this is a manageable chronic illness, they're dealing with other issues that 20 years ago they didn't think they would ever have to deal with. I'm glad you mentioned that because when I was talking to Dawn earlier, she's in her late 50s and she said that it wasn't anticipated that people would be living into their late 50s. So now they, it's an adjustment made there to accommodate people who are older with the virus. Speak to that. Exactly. The um, primary age population in our clinic is between 49 and 64. Ooh. So our population is aging because this is again chronic, manageable, and they're living longer to develop the other issues but we're keeping them healthy completely it is a holistic approach um, dr. DeWitt is a DO so that's a perfect approach for um, that aspect of our medical um, treatment Dr. DeWitt, I could tell Sharon was really excited to see you come on television <laughs> doc we're getting you out of your element man yeah. is this your first this is this your first TV event or are you doing yeah. a couple of them? No, I haven't done any. Oh, my goodness. I love it when I got the first time I drug him. <laughs> Sherry, you should have seen me begging him in the call. Cause Doc, please come on my show. Doc, you're going to remember this as having had a great time. Now, let's go ahead and, um, Doc, when is it fair to say that generally if a person, you, you would see some of these ailments that would be multiple when people have certain illness to say if they got high blood if they got HIV they may have high blood pressure they may have diabetes they may have some other things that may afflict people who haven't been educated in getting checked up going to their doctor on a regular basis good diets and all these kind of things or no yeah I mean you know HIV puts you at a little bit higher risk for heart disease for certain other issues but a lot of it is is people don't get checked up and so they the you know the patients here are coming regularly so we're checking them for things that might not be checked normally so we're, we are finding things that maybe they wouldn't have known about if they hadn't if they weren't going to the doctor regularly so it, I think it actually in the end it makes them probably more healthy mm -hmm. because they're they're getting that care that they need so medicine has really advanced since this 
I'm, I'm still staying in the HIV category, even though you do a lot of other things. But you look relatively young. I don't know if you were around in the early days of HIV and AIDS as a doctor or you were in med school, but you were reading about it. It is really the medication, everything has really advanced now to just that one pill. Yeah, I mean, it's it's completely different than what it used to be. I mean, I wasn't around. I've, I've been doing this for about five years now. But it's, you know, most people can be managed on one pill once a day, whereas 20 years ago they were taking multiple pills five, six times a day. I mean, it was, you know, it's and they were very, like, pills that would make you feel bad. <laughs> it's not, it's just not like that anymore. Now, Sharon, in the early days, we're celebrating 20 years now. In the early days, you didn't have a doctor right here in the house right next door and all these kind of things. Talk about the progress that McGregor Clinic has made and how you're able to attract world-class medical care like a, a doctor like this to what you're doing. In the early days, we had a part-time physician. It was hard to get buy-in from the community for our clinic. Uh, and so I was the only nurse. We had a part-time physician. And then we had two volunteers you know, that helped and someone to do the billing. That was it. As people started transferring to us, we started expanding services. The community let us know we also want to have case management under one roof. So we were able to expand services. The community has driven what we've done and, and dictated the need for expansion. And so we provided case management, medical care, food pantry, clothes closet, expanded all that, outgrew you know, the three buildings. This is, we're now in the addition for this one. And uh, then we also needed, we heard from the community, well, we want to be educated. We want to get tested. We want to know more about HIV. So we started our prevention department, and which is located on Carroll Road, and now we're out doing mobile testing. We have a mobile unit, and so we're, we're out in the community, not only for medical care, but for prevention and education. And as we find people that need our services, we're able to link them to care immediately. Well, I'm just so glad that Leap is Live has been here at the ground level. I've been, I've seen McGregor Clinic grow, grow. You and I have grown together. My television show is a household word. Now McGregor Clinic is a household word. So it's great to have that kind of partnership. The um, fact that you are right here in central Fort Myers, you're right here on Broadway, you're right, you're centrally located. You're not off in some place way out where people have to go in some sterile place and feel like oh a little nervous all about that that makes it more accessible to people as well would you say doc speak to that yeah i mean it's you know it it's like any other medical clinic i think it's it the the stigma itself is not really like uh in your face here you know it's just we we treat everybody the same we treat everybody with respect so i think that's you know, it, they, people can feel comfortable coming here. Right. And mo everybody who has come here, we've had some people who are patients and we had some people who are on the board. But everybody who has come here has raved about the family atmosphere, how people actually care about you as an individual. You're not like a number. And they sense that when they come here. What are you guys doing in terms of bedside service? I guess that's the proper word, bedside men, that just permeates that throughout McGregor Clinic just seems like people really everybody's concerned about the health of, of the community yeah I mean I think it's because everybody that works here does it because they care about it you know this is a nonprofit organization you know if if a lot of the people here wanted to go make more money somewhere else they probably could you know this is a place where we're doing what we care about we're caring about the people that we that we see and that we take care of and so I think that comes across in, in how we approach patient and patients and, and and people that come here uh, is because we actually do care so we're not it's not just a face it's not just a number it's us you know doing something that we care about for the people that we care about right and people can make contributions to McGregor Clinic this 20th year anniversary has an opportunity for people to focus in on McGregor Clinic make a contribution as the doctor just said it's a nonprofit they can give I'm gonna be given and uh, so to, I said all that to say this Sharon summarize what's going on here today and how do you feel looking back and knowing that it's been a, it's 20 years now go with the first <laughs> question the last question first how do you feel I feel very proud of where we are um, this was this has gone beyond my wildest imagination and my highest dream. Um, I tell everyone here that this clinic 
you're going to make me cry. Um, this clinic is my dream, and they make it come true every day. Mm -hmm. And the clients feel it. This clinic is here because the yeah, clients wanted a place to call home. And exactly what Dr. DeWitt said, they feel at home when they come in here. Okay. And it's a fundraising opportunity. People can go to the website. Just do, do what... Uh, what Alex would want you to do. <laughs> you can go to our website, www.mcgregorclinic.org, and make a donation there. We also have our Thanksgiving and Christmas drives going, so um, Thanksgiving dinners and Christmas and, and gifts for those who might not get them outside of this. Uh, there's always an opportunity to volunteer. We take money. We take volunteers. We'll take uh, canned foods. Right. We'll take anything you have. Right. <laughs> Transportation, what have we. Exactly. Hey, uh, Sharon, um, you mentioned earlier on and I remember when you were like doing nurse stuff mm -hmm. do you still have your nurse skills now do you ever can you still are you certified or how's all that work I'm an aid certified RN and I take call every night for the clinic and on the weekends so yes I still get to be a nurse and that's where I'm the happiest really yes. really yeah and that what, what is it when you see that she's still doing that does that inspire you and make you know, just just her hand being executive director and doing nurse stuff. Yeah, no, I'm I'm impressed every day that I'm right. here. So, yeah. Right. Okay. You came in five years ago. Yeah, I've been here five years. And when you when you heard about the history of it, in in your field, that's this like a huge accomplishment in it. Yeah, I mean it's incredible. Like I I I mean I actually came here straight out of my training. So this is the first real job that I had. So to be able to get into a place like this. That is a, a true, you know, uh, a true nonprofit, a true place that actually where I get to actually see patients and treat patients and not just have to rush through. I, I mean, it's an, I, I can't imagine doing anything else now. Like, I, I mean, it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say to Sharon on celebrating 20, 20, 20 years? Get sentimental, man. Well, first off, I have to say thank you for taking a chance on me because I feel like that's what she did. Um, but the, this place here, is, it's unlike any other place that I've ever been, and I can't imagine doing anything else, and I can't imagine what you have done, even you know, for all those years that I wasn't here, and the people that you helped. It's, it's un unreal, to be honest with you. So this is that Oprah Winfrey moment. <laughs> I'm doing my Oprah Winfrey moment. Come on, say something to doctor. <laughs> <clears throat> We're grateful that you're here. I'm glad you took a chance on us as well, because the first time I talked to him, I don't think I made much sense. I went on and on and on about how wonderful McGregor Clinic was and didn't really get him a chance to get a word in edgewise. So I'm grateful you took a chance on us. And this is, this is a phenomenal place, and he's, he's one of the reasons why. I'm going to have to leave it right there. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm going to take my Oprah Winfrey moment and hold it right here. We'll be right back with more interviews. Now with that open one for a while.